Hello, Virgo. I'm Lilo. This is Lilo Vanity, and it's Lilo's Tarot. I'm Lilo Vanity, and this is Lilo's Tarot. Hello. Mm. So I hope that is pineapples. I love that song. Um, somebody may if you are sexually active with somebody, I see deep strokes. Um <laughs> like that or that's something that somebody likes, like they really focus on strokes, like deep long slow strokes okay and um somebody's like if you were to have, if you have sex with somebody they'd be all about your pleasure um somebody wants to know who you really are like someone can't really tell who you are you're kind of mysterious to them so they insist on figuring out or learning who the real you is um or who the real you are which way am i supposed to say that i don't know um, you and someone could be having makeup sex or someone wants to have makeup sex with you. There's um, a masculine energy that lost a lot of weight and they're feeling themselves. There may be someone who has a very wild lifestyle as well and they feel like that lifestyle took them far away from you. Someone's very poetic with their words. They can't live without you. Someone feels like you're spoiled, but it's something that turns them on. Like, um... I don't know if you don't want to break on man, it probably turns him on to spoil you. Uh, he got to really like you. I think they selfish with money. I don't know as far as I'm concerned, but unless they like really, really love you. And if you're a Virgo woman and you're like really spoiled, somebody is, it turns them on to spoil people whether they're a Virgo or not. And someone likes how sweet you are. And now I'm hearing to them. So if you're not sweet to everybody, somebody likes that you're sweet to them. And someone wants to eat you. Y'all have a very sexual... I shuffled y'all's cards to a sexual song. But y'all got a lot of sexual messages. So... Now we gotta put that up there. Let's get into it. The moon and the knight of Pen the knight of wands. Okay, that makes sense. The knight of wands, sexual energy, that goes together. The moon card, someone might have a mommy fetish. Someone could be very attracted to you because you're nurturing. You could just remind this person of their mom. I'm not sure if that's something that makes them want to come towards you sexually or not. But that is something that's a thing that you probably remind them of their mom. Somebody has been waiting for you to come back, and if you don't come back, they're going to come at you with full force. So I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, someone likes the way you tie your hair, especially if it's, like, super long. Some of you, your hair goes down to your butt. It, like, goes all the way down your back. Somebody's very attracted to that. If you like to wear wigs and change your wigs a lot, someone likes that. Some of y'all are going from silver to blonde, or you should do silver or blonde. I am... I like it extra, baby. I like it magical. I say go for the silver, okay? <laughs> if it matches your face. Everybody can't do that. And make sure it's like ombre because I'm seeing somebody that's like silver. No, it needs to be like black to silver because that shit is ugly unless you're going to dye your whole head, okay? That shit ugly to me. Dye your roots black or make sure your roots are black. The three of sword or brown or something, or maybe even dark. I don't know what you got going on, but make it look top notch, bitch. You know what you're doing. Fuck! I don't want to go down there. <laughs> I'm going to do it for y'all because that's the king. That's the king of pinnacles. So I'm going to go down there for y'all. It's king of pinnacles. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> all right, so yeah. Oh, what is you heartbroke for? You didn't want that anyway. A real one's coming in. I like the King of Pentacles. 
Then I tell you, somebody want to spend money on you if you spoil. Somebody want to um redefine foreplay till you need five. <laughs> but then there's this other person that wants to spoil you. To me, y'all dealing with someone who's like darker skin, and y'all dealing with someone who's lighter skin. Go with the person of the lighter complexion. They don't have to be like dark skin and like really dark skin, but whoever has the lighter complexion or whoever has like the uh, like a foreign ethnicity or something like that, go with them. Somebody bought crystals because of you. Someone has an amethyst choker. Wow, I'm glad I got that message. I was gonna say, <laughs> okay. Someone has a crystal wand or they bought you a crystal wand. Someone wants to give you their crystal wand. <laughs> this is a person, some of y'all are attracting the type of person that they are like a powerful manifester um, and they manifest especially financial things with ease. I didn't mean to use this deck. I was supposed to be using that deck this whole time. And I've been using this deck this whole time. So now I'm going to get an oracle card from over here. Because I just thought about getting an oracle card from over here. Also, I see somebody that wants to take... um That might be doing some type of moon ritual or spiritual bath. But this is their way of trying to pull you in. Like somebody's doing any and everything possible to pull you in. If you're somebody that is spiritual, you are dealing with people that whether they know anything about spirituality or not, they would do little spiritual things. Like it's quick to Google how to make a bitch think about you. Like they would do little random things to try to pull in your energy. Like somebody would seriously touch themselves to you in hopes that one day you would reach out. So be careful of things like that. And um, there may be somebody that's watching you. And I don't, I can't tell if they think you would be positive for, positive for them or bad for them. But it has a lot to do with what you believe spiritually. Like someone's very intrigued or interested in your spiritual beliefs. And then we have prosperity again. So this person feels like that you guys can bring luck into each other's lives. Like there's somebody that's watching you. And they feel like um, you've been heartbroken, you've been torn, and people have left you behind. I just don't like how they're looking at you as a damsel in distress. But they want to put you up on your high horse and treat you like a king or the queen that you deserve to be treated like. But I just don't like how they're looking at you like you're somebody who has no hope, no light. And some of y'all like, shut up, bitch. I ain't got no hope or light, and I need to be saved. But I don't feel like that's what the reality is. I feel like that's how someone is seeing you. Like somebody is seeing you as someone who needs to be saved, even if you don't need saving. Um, there's someone that's sick in the head over you, like obsessively. Like the moon with this nine of wands and the eight of cups, I feel like someone did something to try to make you think about them a lot. And now they can't stop thinking about you. And I think someone does things to manifest you specifically at specific moon cycles. Um, Hecate, Hecate, I don't know how you say her name, but the goddess of witchcraft, you should go look her up. She might be calling to you. She might be watching upon you. Um, you might need to, you know, she may be able to help you manifest or you should dive deeper into the craft as well. Some of y'all are being called to like witchcraft, especially if you are someone that is considered like a, I'm hearing a herbal witch or a white witch, um, or a hedge witch. Uh, you could be all those at once, you know, hedge witches work alone. So if you're somebody that you like to be alone, you like to work alone, no matter, you could be a hedge witch rapper. Like you don't never put none of these bitches on your albums because they can't rap like you and it works for you. It don't matter. So you could just be someone that you like to be alone. You don't have to be a witch. You could be a lone wolf. Um, I also see that if somebody takes you on a date, they're going to be one of those people that if you touch a door, they're going to bite your fucking arm off. So just don't disrespect them. <laughs> like if you go on a date with a guy, if you're a woman, don't disrespect them. Like don't ask to pay for nothing. Don't touch a door. Do it anyway, just to grind their gears, <laughs> just to test them a little bit. All right. But I think that pissed somebody off. And I feel like somebody made they have it in their mind that you don't know how to be treated. Like you don't know how you should be treated. So I just don't, I just, it's possible that this is a good person for you, whoever this is. But at the same time, I just don't like the way that they are analyzing you. Cause that's just always annoying as fuck. Like somebody coming into your life, they're going to know what's best for you. They're going to know how to fix you and this and that. Please have a seat. Cause the Virgo is not stressed. The Virgo is actually 
somebody thinks you alone because you're heartbroken. You alone because everybody obsessed with you. You got to think about it, right? Some of y'all are like the type of people where it's probably easy for people to get attracted to you. And when everybody's attracted to you and most of the people are attracted to you for one thing, you are already used to everything. When you are somebody that's attractive, you're already used to every fucking body liking you. Um, the only people that get excited about hoes is thirsty motherfuckers that can't get none. All right. So whether if you're a woman and you're worried about how a man see you or how a man feel about you, a real man don't get excited about hoes. This somebody that all they got to do, they call up a bitch and she going to come. Vice versa. This is the type of female, if they call up that nigga, he going to be on his knees. So if you're dealing with somebody that's very attractive, be on your best behavior. <laughs> I need you to know that. But, but that's the thing though. Like you might be the person that's very attractive and somebody's looking at you like, oh, poor Tink Tink. Like, no, it's not poor Tink Tink. It's that you that nigga or you that bitch. It's something like that. I don't, I just, I'm not saying it's a bad person. I just don't like the way they looking at you. Big pimpin', spin the G's and we be big pimpin'. Like, somebody's looking at themselves as being the person that's going to come in and change your life and be your savior. They can't save their damn self and you don't need them. And this is just their excuse. Oh, this is fucking psychopath. Somebody's an excuse for... Somebody is trying to find excuses to tempt you to come their way and making you feel like you don't know what you're doing with yourself. But there is somebody else that wants to spoil you. Somebody feels tempted by you. It's like the person that feels tempted by you is... The person that's trying to get you to come to them and that just don't make no sense there could be an aries around you new love the ace of cups i got that in the cancer reading so y'all should watch that the moon is very prominent in your spread so you need to really work with the moon look into your moon placements really focus on your emotional health and well-being somebody has been wanting to reach out to you for a while they've been watching you for a while um, this is somebody that's like completely brand new. This is a new person. To some of y'all, it's a cancer. They got a fire moon. That's a specific thing. It's a cancer with a fire moon. Especially if it's an Aries moon. Somebody's thinking about their future and what's going to bring them emotional happiness. But that's like in terms of where to go with their business. Somebody's trying to figure out. And also, the government... The government may have been watching you because some of y'all, if you was associated with criminals, you helped the government take somebody else down. Like they were watching you and then from watching you, they found out a bunch of shit about somebody else. So you may have snitched without trying to snitch. So, uh, or somebody, that's, if it's not the government, it's anybody. Like it's somebody around you from watching you and going through you, it helped them take somebody else down. Like, I've been picking up street violence in my readings. I promise y'all I'm not involved in any street or gang violence. Like, I've dealt with a few plugs, but that's not really nothing. Um, but I think people who are involved in street violence watch this channel. So, I don't know. If you're a tarot reader, it might be, like, people using your channel for their strategy, their war strategies. Whether it's streets or not, it could be business. It could be somebody that's like a millionaire watching you and they're using you at to McDonald's watching you figure out how to take down Wendy's. I don't know. It don't matter. But the Queen of Pentacles fell out. Somebody keeps trying to come towards you and they're just not the person that's meant for you. And especially if this person will be careful of anybody that wants to sleep with you because that's all they want. Like somebody doesn't see you as what is standing right in front of them. But there's a king of pentacles around you that's your perfect counterpart. And you really need to keep your energy cleansed and clear. Because it's somebody else that want to be in your energy so bad that they could possibly, you know, cause blockages for you. The six of pentacles, the death card. Like somebody wants to see. I'm tired of picking up this energy, y'all. And I can't get it off the screen. Like somebody wants to see your life fall apart. And they'll do anything to see you. For some of y'all, they'll do anything to see you gone or you already gone and someone doesn't like that if there's a relationship that ended someone doesn't they don't they don't know how to move on you still haunt them like there's somebody that they just don't get it and i can't get the energy out y'all straight the strength card the queen somebody feels like they lost their strength especially if it was a gemini Okay, these are more positive cards. We got the sun and the moon. 
The person you may be meant to be with comes off as a forbidden lover. Because now I got the Queen of Pentacles here and I can't get the King of Pentacles to come back out. And it's making me sad because I really wanted to come out. Because I feel like something was really good for y'all and it was taken away from you. Or it seems like the truth might come out about this if it happened in the past. That's crazy. Gossip. Yeah, the unknown. And they don't really want you to know. Happiness is coming to you, but they don't want you to know how it's going to come to you. It's not going to come in the way that you think it will or how you think it's supposed to look. And they want you to believe, have faith basically in the universe. And that your dreams and desires will come true because they will with the Empress card and the Hierophant. You will end up in a relationship too, but it's like the way it's going to happen will be unknown. Maybe something you thought was good for you wasn't, or if something was taken from you, it will be returned. And it was probably taken away from you due to a lot of gossip, fake friends, somebody who couldn't let go of you. Someone who's French, someone speaks French. Or someone put a spell over your life. And then we have the change card. The change is coming. Or someone put someone put something on your life, cursed your life in some type of way, shape, or form. To cause like changes in the worst way. And now they're in ill health. I see like it. This is positive cards. You got the sun, the queen of pentacles, the love is the moon. You got the ace of stars and the strength card. You could be signing a contract soon that's going to cause you to have to go into partnership with someone. I feel like you are coming into a period of your life where you're getting clarity from certain things where you may have been in a cocoon state and now you get to bloom like a butterfly. I feel like the more balanced you feel, the more beautiful that you look, the more it helps raise your vibration and it makes you feel very stable and it may also be bringing financial stability into your life. I also see that if you was dealing with a taboo love situation, you'll figure out whatever it is that you are meant to learn from the situation or have a conversation that will be very op like eye-opening and it may even bring you two together if that's something that you choose i feel like what happens next is all about what you choose to do based off the truth that you receive you will receive i feel like something was taken out of your life by force and that it was unfair uh if you didn't deserve it i feel like someone had control over your life and i feel like now all the choices that were taken from you or a very specific choice that was taken from you will be returned to you. And now I feel like I'm channeling and eventually I'm going to pass out. I'm not going to pass out, but also be careful of where you're giving your energy or overdoing it in terms of spiritual practices because you might give a little too much away in terms of your energy. Um, especially if you're doing anything involving like the deceased, you know, deceased people or deceased energies. Because if I talk to dead people long enough, I will feel drained, okay? I don't go around talking to dead people. But I'm saying you're doing readings for people and y'all keep asking me about past on loved ones. Eventually, I'm going to need to go lay down, all right? But these are very positive cards. I see you coming into union with someone that you can actually have a child with. Someone... This is like the perfect mother and father. I know the sun and the moon and kind of taboo lovers. I mean, but or like forbidden lovers not taboo forbidden but if something is supposedly taboo it's not taboo it's just you shedding light on what's really beautiful something sometimes you know uh it's something really beautiful and something that's supposed to be dark but i feel like this is a good indication of somebody being like the perfect mother and father or you even having that energy in yourself as a single mother or father you could be a single mother or a single father and you do a good job at playing the masculine and the feminine role but if you are someone that is like, I think two women coming together to raise a child, y'all are going to be amazing parents. Or I just feel like it could be two feminine energies as well. Like someone who someone appreciates who you are as a mother. And it's like, this is a good combination to raise a child. I don't know. That's a thing. You, if you're dealing with a Leo, a Cancer, definitely a Leo though. Someone like close to Leo and Cancer or a Gemini, all those are all three behind each other. Like all three of those are behind each other. You have a really good combination to raise a child. Like whatever your chart is and whatever their chart is together, y'all are power couples. All right, so 
that is the Virgo reading. I will see you guys again tomorrow. I'll probably do a Cash App Live tomorrow. And I'll start the last half tomorrow. I love you guys. Enjoy your day. Thank you. <laughs> Hugs.